Hey, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Go Shakuna and I love drawing and I guess you do too, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So let's make some art. Remember last week I used that marker and I don't use that marker very often because usually I just pick my favorite tools and most of my pens have waterproof ink in them because I enjoy combining my line with watercolor and then I don't want the ink to bleed. But if you use a tool that has water soluble ink, that can be really exciting to work with as well. When you use a wet brush to add water to the ink on the paper, the ink will bleed. And now you can paint without using any paint. The ink is diluted with the water and depending on the ink, the pigments of the ink might separate a bit, which can give interesting effects over which you don't have any control, but I like that. Now be careful that you don't touch every line in your drawing with your brush that's loaded with water. Leave the important lines of your drawing untouched so you have still some crisp lines. And so now I can give more depth to the drawing that I made last week by adding shadows and shading. And I already had a little bit of drop shadow added um, with the light coming from the right. So I'll keep that in mind as I am adding my shading to my subject. It gives the drawing so much more context and life and depth. I now also noticed that for the third drawing, I decided to add a checkered background while it wasn't actually there. I just made it up. Uh, but I didn't do that on the first and the second drawing. So I can add that now without even using a pen and just using my diluted ink. It makes a whole difference, doesn't it? Shadow is super important for your drawings. Now, if you like an assignment, then here it is. This week, find yourself in your art stash. I'm pretty sure you have something, a fine liner or a marker or some kind of pen. Maybe you have a fountain pen with normal fountain pen ink in it that is water soluble. Find a pen with water soluble ink, do a drawing or more than one, and then, like I did today, use a water brush or a brush loaded with water to add shading, shades, more depth, play around, let the ink bleed, and discover what kind of effects you can get with this. Okay, have fun. I will see you next week with another tip. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you like my videos, then you can also support me to keep making them for free every week on Tuesdays. You can become a patron and I will share the link to my Patreon page below this video. As a patron, you will get extra benefits. You'll get more tips and ideas and inspiration and motivation posts. And also you can get in for free at my monthly mini workshops, which you can join anyway. Okay, check it out below this video in the description. I will see you next week. Bye.